Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard Online video. We just finished up Grizzleheim and Wintertusk. We did all of that, and I got a lot of XP for it. And we also started Celestia the other day, so go check out that first episode if you missed it. But people in the chat, when I was live streaming the end of Wintertusk when we did Nistrond, told me that I missed a couple of spells from uh, Grizzleheim. I looked, and the first one that I thought I missed was Empower. I actually have this one, so we're good on this one. But there is another spell that I forgot. And that is Dark Pact. So to get Dark Pact, we have to start by talking to Baldur over here and uh, go back to Grizzleheim to get that. So we're going to do that. We're going to do a little spell quest video here to make sure that I have all the death spells because I just want to get them. I mean, I'm actually going to use Dark Pact at some point in the future, so I might as well just get it. So if I ever miss any spells during the walkthrough, I'll just come back and uh, probably do a little spell quest video for it because, I don't know, I like these. They're, they're fun. I, we're not going to listen to dialogue, but... Now that we have a, I have a trade you can just read it quick if you want. Can help you learn but uh, yeah, we need, we need to talk to Eric, who's going to give us the he next spell. Can I take the boat back, dude? Can I Can I just take the boat quick? Do I have to really, do I have to use the, the spell door? <laughs> can I take your boat, dude? Just like a quick, you know, little, okay. Oh, I should have clicked the, should have clicked my house. But yeah, this is the last thing that we need to get. For spells, and then I think we're all caught up in spells. We're good. Until level, like, 55. Yeah, so we're almost the next spell. But I'm going to grab this, and uh, then we'll be completely caught up. Have Dark Pact for later, high, for higher levels, basically. I actually used Dark Pact earlier, but it's not really worth it because it does so much damage to me. But later on, it's good because you'll have Resist. And uh, you can even sharpen it. So go talk to Eric and get this quest. I don't even know what this quest is going to be like. I kind of hope there's a boss or something to defeat. And I can practice my solo death skills. But here he is. Eric over here. Welcome. I am a seeker of yep. Knowledge. The mysteries and uh, the make sure you pick this one, Thief of Spells, because you're getting them. your spell. Don't pick those, because these ones are huge. Like the collect. Is it basically the, the lore, like the, what do you call it? Like the book quests. People used to call it the book quests. Those are a struggle. I used to do them. Not anymore. <laughs> is one, a warlock. Named a warlock? All right, we're probably going to defeat him. Yep. Alright, but that's worth though. You get the you get the spell. Get my spells Let's go to Merkholm. Merkholm Keep is where we have to go for this guy. 2700. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's see where he's at. So, I wonder if... I don't know, Wolf Camp? That was actually not even close at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's close. No, he's not close to any of these. Alright, we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk and hope that we don't get pulled. But, I'm excited for Celestia. If you guys missed that first episode, definitely go check it out. It was good. And, uh, I feel like we're gonna be able to make a lot of progress in that walkthrough. There's a huge difference in doing walkthroughs with dialogue and without dialogue. So, without dialogue, we can get through a lot each episode. And I also like to keep... Oh, he's, he's pretty close. I'm going to wait for him. I also like to keep the episode length, like, you know, around 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Because I feel like that's easier for people to watch. So, here we go. Time to defeat him. I got my Deer Knight and Scarecrow. I even got a faint. I got two faints in there. I mean, I have my Dark Pact. I've had Dark Pact, like, the entire walkthrough. Oh, I should put these in. Uh, do I really need these? Oh, yes. Oh, no. I just realized he was ice. Okay. Well, if he shields the boss, we cry a little bit, but then we get back up and we, we finish. Dang it. I knew I should have put that in. Well, even if he shields, we can use Deer Knight, and it'll be good. Just hope he doesn't. Okay, good. I saw that the minion had a thousand health. How much health did the boss have? Two thousand. That's not that bad. I'm not gonna be able to use it yet, though. We're gonna need other blade. Blade in your minion, and this is probably the shield that we were talking about. Yep, they love to use that. As long as he doesn't shield the boss, we're okay. How about you, you're only allowed to use like one shield every, I don't know, like five turns? 
Is that fair for ice people? No? Okay, Deer Knight. Do it. But yeah, Celestial Walkthrough, as I was talking about earlier. We're already in the grotto. We finished that. And I don't know what it is about it, but if this is another shield, dude, that's not allowed. Okay, good. That's allowed. I just feel like Celestia, for me, I haven't been there in such a long time that it actually feels fun. I know it's going to become a struggle later on, but it's fun right now. Even with a death, we have Deer Knight, so it makes it way better. <laughs> if we didn't have Deer Knight, now we have to hit with Scarecrow every time, it'd be a struggle. And it'll kill that guy over time. Might have to hit the boss again. Do we have Headless Horseman? Oh, he's he's almost dead. You know what? We could use this. 420 over time. Pretty good. And he's dead. There you go. This is a uh, useful spell to get for the amulet at this level is the uh, the amulet faint. You see a scroll stand nearby. Perhaps that's where Eric Weirdrum is. These look like the spirits and we got it. Eric described. They have his room upon them. All right, back to Northgard. This should be it. I don't think it's going to be that long of a quest, but it's worth getting because you're going to use a spell. I just like being a completionist and getting all the spells. Even though on my storm I forgot to get the minion. So maybe on my death I'll actually get the rank 5 minion or whatever it is. Thank you so much. Here's your spells. So now Here's you can give my me word. my... Here is a spell. It doesn't pop up! It doesn't pop up anymore. It just says learn the spell. Open up the... Learn Dark Pact. I'm sorry. That If there's one thing that annoys me about this game... Like, anymore since... They changed it. It's that the spell doesn't pop up and, and show you. I saw it like pop up in the air, but it doesn't show up on your screen. What? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Why would they want to do that? Why would they want to change that? That doesn't make any sense to me. But there it is. Dark Pact. I'm not going to put it in my deck yet because, uh, well, uh, it's not too useful. Plus, I'm in the one hitting. So you really only want to use it if you're a support and you can, uh, yeah, use it on someone else. Rarely, I feel like you're really gonna use it like a dark pact on yourself to do it But I mean maybe if you really need the damage so that is gonna do it. That is the dark pact spell quest Last spell that I need from Grizzleheim I think because once we hit 55 we can get the next spell So maybe we'll do a spell video on that uh, once we get there So if you guys enjoyed this leave a like on it subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time